another one of your womanizing skills is your ability on the dance floor. I have been known to throw some tiles, my friend, if you know what I mean. I mean, uh, I've seen you dance, and it's, it's, I think it should be on everybody's list, you know, jump out of an airplane, uh, you know, go to Mount Rushmore. See Reed dance. See Reed dance. <laughs> yeah, because everything is moving except the giant grin on your face. Well, that's... Every, everything is moving when you're dancing. That's the whole point. It's almost like sword, sword fighting. Your, your, your face should be, you should keep your eyes transfixed on your victim. Chivalry's a lost art, unfortunately. You know, these kids running around with guns and gangsters. First of all, sword, sword has been around for thousands of years. The gun is, is fairly new. There's no question about what is a better weapon. The sword is a chivalrous weapon to kill with. Number one, you can look your opponent right in his eye. Okay, there's 47 different kill spots with a sword. A gun, you can just basically shoot anywhere and you can kill somebody and blow a hole right through them. There's no chivalry in a gun. Clearly, your love of make-believe helps in your womanizing as well. Oh, of course. When I take a woman out for the night, she I am her knight in shining armor and she is my damsel in distress. And I tell her that right up front. I take her hand and I say, Madam, I get on one knee and I say, Madam, tonight, you will be treated like a princess. Have you ever tried my ice cream? I haven't, but I've heard about it. I've heard it shuts parties down. I have somewhere upwards of 150 flavors that I have made for people. And every one of them, they say, Reed, that is the greatest ice cream I've ever had in my life. It's another one of your great bedding damsel tools, correct? Oh, hands down. Move over Ben and Jerry's. You've bedded many a plump damsel, damsel with your ice cream making skills. I. Again, I don't call them plump damsels. Right. They're ladies. Look, I, anybody, I'm going to go on record as saying this, can get Callista Flockhart wannabe types. Skin and bones, all you have to do is treat them like crap, and they'll love you forever. I like women who want to be treated well. I treat every date as though it could be my last. This way, the woman I'm taking out is my prize, and I'm treating her like no other man will ever treat her or has ever treated her before. I do okay with the ladies. It's, uh, I tell Ronald, it's sort of like this. You have to, it's a numbers game. You have to approach them all, and if you get one out of a thousand, you're doing okay. 